Among the various mechanical gears used in machines and mechanisms, worm gears occupy a special place. They are used to transmit rotational motion between shafts whose axes are crossed. The main advantage of worm gears is the possibility of a large reduction, that is, a significant reduction in the angular velocity of the driven shaft. Worm gears with a gear ratio from 30 to 60 are most often used. Depending on the external shape of the worm, it distinguishes between a cylindrical worm and a globoid worm. Transfers with a globoid worm are used in cases where it is necessary to increase their power and efficiency. The shape of the screw surface of the cylindrical worm thread determines the transmission with Archimedean. An involute or con currency skull. The choice of gear ratio depends on which worm to use. From wind or multi wind. The direction of rotation of the wheel dictates the choice of a worm with the right or left direction of the labels. The engagement of the worm wheel with the worm is perceived only by a few teeth. The resultant force of the interaction of the worm and the wheel is conventionally considered concentrated at the pole of their engagement and applied normally to the working surface of the coil. This force is laid out in three mutually perpendicular directions according to the parallelopiped rule. It follows that the circumferential force on the worm wheel is numerically equal to the axial force on the worm. Conversely, the circumferential force on the worm is numerically equal to the axial force on the worm wheel. The radial forces on the wheel and on the worm are equal. Worm gears have self-braking. It prevents the reverse rotation of the worm wheel. During operation, the worm coils slide along the teeth of the wheel. The sliding speed is determined from the parallelogram of the circumferential speeds of the worm and the wheel. In worm gears, the sliding speed is always greater than the circumferential speed of the worm. Sliding is one of the reasons that leads to the destruction of the teeth of the wheel, fatigue staining, jamming, turning into a bully in a fracture. <laughs> to increase the wear resistance, the crown of the worm wheel is made of anti-friction material, for example, bronze.
and the discs are made of steel or cast iron. The crown is pressed. They are fused and not bolted onto the disc. Then the cutter cuts the teeth. The milling cutter should be a copy of the worm with which this wheel will be engaged. Worms are cut from medium carbon or alloy steels on carving milling machines with cutters or on turning and screw cutting machines with cutters. Depending on the layout of the product or mechanism, worms may be located. From the bottom of the worm wheel. Or on top of him. To the right of the worm wheel or to the left. A working worm gear emits heat, which heats the oil and thereby reduces its lubricating properties. For natural cooling of the oil washing the worm and the teeth of the wheel in the gearbox, ribbed housings are made, increasing the cooling surface. Or create forced cooling systems with ventilation air. Circulating water. Or they pass the oil through the refrigeration unit. Worm gears have a number of advantages. Smooth motion transmission, silent operation and compactness. Therefore, they have received a very wide application in technology. <laughs>